I'm Aaron Shirley. You're watching Shirley Fishing TV. I'm here with Dustin Bocek. And Dustin, you have a pretty unique program for gar on in your home waters. Yeah, last year I decided to try for these gar. It's just amazing. It's so easy to fish for them and nobody goes for them. So it's pretty much fishing to yourself. That's pretty neat. I mean, I fished with you here last year and we had a great time. We hooked up about five gar and it's all doing this, just waiting in your bathing suit and just going out and spotting yeah. them and having a blast. It's perfect for hot days like today. You get to cool off and you get to fish at the same time. Nice. Stay tuned. This is going to be an awesome show. Let's go get them, man. Yeah. like we're stalking them right yeah it's a lot of fun though oh, here we go see one get them yeah. man bury the hooks when you set when you get them man set it hard got him yeah dustin's got him yes yes sir nice okay. hold on to him yeah. uh, try and steer him right in here this side, this side. come on bud hey this side, this side, this side. got him yeah yeah there we go. He's not fully in, but beautiful. It only took, what, 10 tries? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at that gar. Ooh, doggy. Good, good going, Dustin. Nice. Do you have your players handy? Yeah, I can grab them. Or I got mine here. Okay. Just grab them out of the side of my thing. Beautiful. That's a nice gar. Yeah. Look at the colors on that gar. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. Yeah, I got the cradle. Got the cradle? Okay. Yeah. I think it's just that Most front. people use the glove to handle these things. Yeah. But I thought a cradle would be good. There, there you we go. go. Just drop that. Drop it. There you go. There you go, Dustin. Why don't you, uh, why don't you get your fish? Just grab them by the tail and maybe yeah. under the belly. Show the camera. <laughs> yeah. I like this. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful. Now that is a gar. Whoa. Got him. That's a nice solid fish. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a typical size here, right? Yeah, about this. Beautiful. Maybe Look at the colors, like the spotting on it and everything. It's almost orangish, actually. Yeah, that's crazy. And of course, the sharp teeth that you found. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now, it doesn't have his mouth open right now, but you can see all those right there are all sharp teeth along. That's his mouth. It opens from there up. And all those are sharp teeth right there. Absolutely nuts. Oh yeah, he drew a little blood on me. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Won't uh, a little blood's worth of fish. Yeah, why don't you get it uh, in the water? Beautiful fish. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty sight? When I fish for gar, I love to fish from shore. One reason is because I do not have a boat. But the other is because gar like shallow water around one to three feet deep. Areas I like to look for are sandy or rocky flats around one to three feet deep, boulders, or weeds, because gar like to camouflage themselves so that way they can stalk their prey and they can hide from predators whenever they're around. So if you've never gar fished before, these are the key areas to look for. Ah. Come on. There we go. One tip I like to do is open my bail in case this guy gets away. I don't want my... Oh, I oh, he got off. Darn it. <laughs> no, if you open your bail when you land the fish, in case it does do that, you won't have to worry about your rod getting dragged away with the fish. Dustin had that gar completely wreck his leader, and that was just a standard stainless steel leader, yeah. right? Seven strands. So this is the beauty of the titanium. It really doesn't kink very much, and this is 20 pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all you do is you bend, kink your leader. Now I just kind of uh, pinched it down a little bit. And this is an all braid knot. And this is, you can actually tie braid or monofilament directly to the actual leader itself. So this is called an all braid knot. I put it through the loop once. And all you do is you take the tag end and you just start wrapping it around. And you do this, I would say approximately 10 to 12 times 
And when you get that wrapped around, and make sure you don't kind of overlap it. Make sure it's nice and even wraps. And when you get that wrapped around, nice even wraps, take it, pinch it here. And where you put it through originally, you want to uh, pull that back a little bit there and just push that through in the same direction as your uh, main line. So it's just like that. And lick it, put a little saliva on it, and just kind of pull it nice and gently. And what I do is I take the tag end, I put my fingers there and just kind of push that up, and take the tag end and give it a couple of jerks, nice tighten up, and there you go. That's a nice solid knot. You trim your tag ends, and that's a nice solid knot that's not going to weigh down the lure like a big ball bearing swivel wheel. There you go, bud. Thank you. Oh, there's another coming toward you. Got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw it. He hit at my feet. I'm ready. Got, got yeah. him. <laughs> oh, oh, it came out. It came out. Look at that. <laughs> that is how easy a gar can come out, right like that. Whew. Cute little guy. <laughs> this, now this is typically some of the smaller gar you'll see yeah. here. They fight just as hard and they're just as tough to catch. Like that's a that's a nice little healthy gar. It's about the smaller size that Dustin gets here, but uh, that's okay, I'll take it. Now look at that beak. Now that, that mouth right there goes from here all the way to there and that opens up like it snaps like that. Just full of teeth. You don't want to get your fingers near there. Whoa, ho, ho, he's gone. <laughs> when they want to go, they'll just all of a sudden, boom, bolt right out of your hand. But when I garfish, I like to use the original floater size 11. This is because of hook placement. As you can notice, the hooks are very close together. And since gar have very narrow beaks, wherever it grabs it, a hook will still be nearby. However, if you go up or down a size, the hook placement is wider. So the gar can grab the lure and the chances of you hooking them are a lot smaller. Now, I've upgraded the hooks to sticky sharp gamakatsus because it's a lot easier to hook the gar if you use sharper hooks. I like to use a wired leader because gar have very sharp teeth and they can easily cut through line. Now, I always like to carry around with me a pair of scissors if I, in case I need to retie, and a pair of pliers because gar have their very sharp teeth and you don't want your fingers anywhere near their mouth. There's definitely some nice rock chunk oh. in there. Oh, you got him! I missed him. Oh! Missed him. There you go, there you go. Got him. Yeah, that's a better fish. Oh yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. He's coming right, look at him, he's spotted. He's spotted. Oh no. Oh, uh. oh there he goes. Oh. oh.